What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another episode of our Cavanaugh Duplex series. Look what I have behind me. Foundation complete. Doesn't she look like a beauty? Fresh concrete. So now, you know, we have our uh, we have our weeping tile scheduled for next week. Uh, they'll be coming out here. You'll see a a black coating uh, it's some sort of a like a sticky substance that they put on uh, it's basically I think the main purpose of that is so any rain or any moisture that goes down underground um, the moisture doesn't seep through the concrete into the house so that's what uh, it's one of the most important factors of foundation um, you know the these straps that you see behind me I just confirmed with our concrete guys uh, they're actually called the hurricane straps. They're meant so if there is a hurricane, it won't um, take your house with it. But you know, my concrete guy said that it's these straps. Yeah, they're great for a precaution. But if there is a strong hurricane, uh, these straps most likely will not be enough to keep your house intact. But you know, we don't really get many hurricanes or tornadoes here. I haven't seen. Uh, any in my lifetime but let me show you one thing here now you can see the finished look what I was talking about so now the door will sit in here basically and this door is going to go straight into the basement I'll show you the neighbors house it's completed oh you can't see the base you can't see the base but you can kind of tell that the door is below the concrete level and that's why That's why it's called a door buck. And right here, when we do the backfill, that crew will run a electrical wire right from the property line of the city property, the city property line. And they'll run it along here and run a wire up, cut, sticking out right by the piece of two by eight. And this is where my electricians will run their main power, uh, main service to. And this is from here, they put a meter inside the house and supply power into our homes. So pretty cool stuff. We cannot backfill for at least one week after you pour. Uh, you have to let the concrete cure and gain appropriate strength before you start, uh, you know, filling the dirt back in and adding that load on it. Um, so we have to wait one week, but in that one week, we're gonna get our uh, weeping tile completed. They're gonna run the underground service line for the electrical. Um, and then yeah and then we should be ready to fill it back up we have our plumbing groundworks which are going to happen right after the backfill and then sometime once my application goes through our gas line will be installed um, but they come and do their own trenching they run their own line connected to the main uh, city line and then they'll install a meter on site what's up you natty say hello to everybody hello everyone we're enjoying sunday afternoon had a relaxing morning ate a heavy lunch pizza for lunch which was the best but now we're on site today and as i told you guys earlier in the video we have our backfilling guys coming and before that we have the weeping tile guys coming to do the waterproofing but before that i have to come on site and do some markouts with uh spray paint so let me let me show you this basically this is a plot plan if you guys can all see it mm -hmm. you know on this they've given us elevations of you know how high the dirt has to be around the house so we have to make sure that we follow that and my excavators uh they're not going to follow this when they're backfilling so i have to actually give them lines on all four sides of the house so they can use that as a benchmark and we use that you know pretty much throughout the construction process because even at the end when we're doing our final grading for the house my landscaper will also use these lines so I'm marking something pretty significant for this project. Are you guys ready to see it? We are.
the way these elevations are decided by the plot plan guys is they're trying to consider that there's proper you know water flowing away from the home and tying into the city the drainage systems so this is you this is our our high spot for the back of the house so what's going to happen the water is going to flow to the front of the house and it's going to flow away from the house this way so basically between this house and this house uh, the next house we built there's going to be a swale building and the water is going to flow downhill from here onto the street um, this one here it says a big g that's where our atco gas line company they're going to run their line underneath we're going to backfill all of this they're going to do their own trench they're going to run the main gas line until here and we'll have a future gas meter over here why don't you come up here and then i can show you what's next um, over here this will be our uh, side entry door we're going to have dirt until here so now as you can see this is almost 15 inches um, of a drop so we'll need to have at least two or three steps you know coming down from here uh, for anybody who's living in the secondary basement suite I've come back on site now and look what we see. Black gooey stuff on the walls. It seems like it's freshly done. I can still see the wet spots. Nice. So what this black gooey stuff is, it's called damp proofing. So what happens when I when we take all this dirt, start putting it back in here? It's gonna come up to about here where I drew those lines um, earlier in this video. What the damp proofing does is basically prevents any moisture from the soil to get into the foundation. Because moisture and concrete, they don't go well together. You also see the perforated pipe that's running around the whole property and they also put them in the window wells. What these pipes do is they collect any water um, after when the snow is melting or, or when it rains during summers. Um, it collects that water, it goes down into those pipes. Now the, these pipes have tiny holes in them so all the water gets collected. It runs down there. I'll show you. Oh, I almost twisted my ankle. and takes all the water into the sump pump that's installed inside the house. Then comes the job off the sump pump. It takes that water that's built up inside and it spits it out. There's gonna be another um, a T, like a pipe that my backfill guys will install, which is connected to the main storm line that's on city property. And then that sump pump spits the water out of the house and connects it all the way out to the city storm line and that's the whole idea you never want to have any water coming towards your home uh, you don't want it building up underneath your home because here we have lots of frost um, and lots of settling uh, so the more moisture that's underneath uh, there's more chance of the house settling affecting the health of your foundation and and it's never a good thing to have water and concrete together we have the gravel around the perforated pipe that I showed you earlier. I believe the purpose of this gravel is basically um, so that the pipe doesn't get covered and pressured by the dirt once that goes back in and it keeps that you know base layer underneath the soil for the water to still seep through. As you can see this green pipe, this is what's connected to the storm line at the front. So now you can kind of start visualizing the sump pump that's inside our home that's going to get connected here and go into there so if all the water that gets collected from around the home goes into the sump from below the footings and then the sump pumps out any excess water that has collected into this pipe which is then connected to the storm line which i'll show you is connected to the main city tie-in and goes straight to the stormwater drain. What this pipe looks like to me is for the, the drain, the downspout that goes, connects to the roof above and drains 
right into the storm line. You know, sometimes you guys are telling me on my previous video that you guys don't like the downspout sticking out, uh, which is very common here in Canada. Like, I'll show you the neighbor. This was built by somebody else, but you can see the downspout is just kind of left right there, and it will stick out right on the sidewalk. But all they have left is basically uh, the main electrical line to run from here to that wood post out there. And then I think they'll start backfilling all this dirt. Their machine's already on site. So yeah, by tomorrow or by Saturday, like the weekend, uh, they should be they should be pretty wrapped up here pretty well. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below with some feedback if you saw a thing or two that I can improve on, or if I missed something that you want me to cover next time. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more regular content. This is just the beginning. Thank you.